Liberal Party Senator Erica Betts has labelled the push for marriage equality as the latest fad, arguing that on this issue, Australia should not be following the United States, but Asia. Here we are in Asia. I just simply asked the question in this Asian century, which other Asian country uh, has legalised same-sex marriage? Unmoved by the Irish referendum or the US Supreme Court ruling, Senator Abetz told Sky News allowing same-sex couples to marry would open a Pandora's box. If you undo the institution of marriage by redefining it for the latest movement or the latest fad, you will open a Pandora's box for all sorts of other potential possibilities. Like what? Oh, well, uh, Polyamory is one of those and uh, that has now been uh, promoted not only to Australian Senate committees but it has been uh, commented on and uh, pursued in Holland, in Scandinavia, in the United States. So uh, let's not be under any illusion that once you start unpicking the definition of marriage there will be other consequences. A cross-party bill is to be moved and seconded by Labor MPs and backed by a multi-party group when Parliament resumes in August. I'm pleased to support a cross-party marriage equality bill. I think it's about time we had marriage equality in this country. It's great that there's been so many people in the Parliament across all political persuasions prepared to work together on a bill that um, hopefully we can obtain the support of the Parliament. But the majority of Liberal MPs have said they'll oppose the bill, while Tony Abbott has made it clear he won't support a change. And now that Senator Abetz has staked his ground, there's bound to be lots more debate on the issue.